Craft Brews. And casual conversations. Yeah. We are drinking a pale ale from the Yuppie place, the Yuppie Oops, Upper Michigan. Uh, I'm Rob. I'm Drew. Just kidding. Other way around. Gotcha. Dudes with brews on a porch. Had to adjust. Yep. Um, Robert, uh, welcome back to uh, the state of Wisconsin. You've been back for almost a week. Yep. Yep. Uh, we haven't seen each other in a while. It has been a while. A, we- think, a week uh, and two, two days. Two, yeah. Is it only been that long? No, it's been two weeks. No. Has it? I was gone for a week. You're right. And then uh, it's been a week since I've been back. Wow. Look at that. Yeah, because we recorded uh, our last episodes uh, on last episode Tuesday of two weeks ago, Tuesday. You sure? Yep. No, it was last Tuesday, the second. So, eight days ago. Oh, I guess so. That's just nine days right. ago. Doesn't seem like it. it seems longer. Because it was Tuesday to Tuesday. Oh, today's only what? Thursday? The eleventh. Is it Wednesday? It's Thursday. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, you're right. Nine days or whatever. <laughs> Tuesday morning to Thursday night. Right. Right. Um, and so you, you ventured off for the holidays to go see family in upper Michigan, the upper peninsula. For those of you that don't know, Michigan divided into two groups of land and we got one to the right of us and one up top, our little hat. Yep. Um, and you brought home some beer, which is uh, very kind of you. The first time, uh, you've, that you've purchased beer for the show. I believe so. I'm, I'm proud of you. And you got... You it's got, not the first time that I've got, it's just the first time that I actually got beer that hadn't been done before. Right. And, and you, I've uh, tried in the past. You, uh, um, you got three different kinds, four kinds, four kinds. Yes. And I, I bought, I have three different kinds for future episodes. So you for sure know we're at least going to do seven more episodes. Yes. So there you go. Something to look forward to, huh? Uh, well, we're drinking Uper ale from upper hand brewery. Uh, which is, you guessed it, in Escanaba, Michigan. Uh, the first place I ever went to a casino was there. A northern adaptation designed for uh, sessionability. Uper is light, bright, toasted oat ale brewed with grain and hop source from right here in the UP. Even though it's not really right here, it's right up there. Uh, it is balanced and silky. The juiciest of hop varieties allow bright, punchy, and fresh citrus, fresh I can't even say the word fresh. What the fuck? Fresh citrus aromas to come through for a clean and accessible nod to our Michigan roots. It is only 4% ABV, which is weak as fuck, and <laughs> which is fine. Uh, 22 on the IBUs. So this is a beer that you can put down well, like when you're going hard, when you're like, you know, I'm going to be drinking all day. This is what you want to have. Yeah, they take this out in the trails. Yeah, and they go. We can drink a lot of these and still looks, not hit a tree. It looks like it has some some IPA sensibilities to it, like our images to it. It's a little cloudier, a little thicker. Got that haze to it. It does have a haze. It's got. I can smell the citrus. You smell the citrus? Yeah, I smelled it when it was on the table Let's, when the when the wind came through. Yeah, that's nice. So we're on the we're second episode that we've recorded on the porch. This is the porch. The porch. A little warm. We got pictures of the, the porch. Kind of. On the, on the website? On the Instagram? Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah when this po- picture gets posted, they'll briefly see it. So just know that uh, when, when, when we say dudes with brews on, on a porch, this is the porch in a porch. I was, uh, so I just tried it. What do you think? That's me. That's this couch. Oh, all right. I'll move less. Mm. You know, it, uh, it's definitely a light beer. Yeah, yep. It's a, it's got that light taste to it. I don't taste the citrus so much. It's not very strong. I don't, I don't taste it's there a little of, bit. Yeah, I don't taste uh, 
It's kind of a weak taste. Mm-hmm. Yeah, not bitter at all. No bitterness. No, no, no real bitterness. Oh, the second, the second drink, I got more taste, but still, uh, no bitterness at all. Yeah, it's. Uh, I think it's a good game day beer, a lawnmower beer. This is a beer that you t- that you take in the cooler when you go fishing, when you go four mobile, four four wheeling, snowmobiling, in all, the all those things. So, uh, um, a lot to talk about here. Um, yeah, this is the, the you you purchased the beer, we got it, you did it. You, yeah, I took this beer across state lines. You've uh, you you smuggled it in, you bootlegged it. You've uh, I think I think Josh bought. Maybe two of the beers, I think. So you're in luck. So you you're you surpassed Sucks. that. Yes. You now are the co-host. All right. Sorry, only, Josh. You only had to do 50 episodes. Yep. <laughs> and buy four beers. Yes. So there. Uh, congratulations. I now, put a sticker on my laptop too. Yeah. Yeah. You're in it. But uh, I'd like to do another episode with the three of us again. Me too. Yeah. That, that was, was a lot of fun. Um, any? Was there good feedback on that episode? I got I got good feedback on it. I was people. Good. I think it. we talked about that. Yeah. Yep. Um, so yeah, how was how was your trip? My trip was awesome. Um, I really enjoyed it. Uh, did some things that I've been going up there since I was a kid, and uh, I did some touristy things this time. Yeah. Went on the Pictured Rock tour. What is that? that? Was, uh, it's you go out on a boat and on Lake Superior, there are these big like um, cliffs. On the you know uh, on where it's not where it's not a beach it's like a cliff that drops down and then the water so you take a boat out and those cliffs are made of different stones and then there's like mineral deposits that um, when it rains the water washes them through which creates like uh, rust colors blacks whites greens yeah. and blues over time and uh, they're not rocks Marie they're minerals yes they're mineral deposits in the rock do you get that, that joke. Uh, no. Okay. Marie. The, the joke is they're not rocks, Marie. They're minerals. I, uh, yeah. Breaking Bad. Okay, I'm not that far yet, maybe. You, oh, really? A little yeah. behind? Yeah, I'm only on season one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got I'm watching The Sopranos right now. I'm on season five of Sopranos. You really, uh... Really late to the show, huh? Yeah, on, on I, I both ch- the Sopranos and Breaking Bad. Yeah, yeah, I'm. I'm I have I'm, the Wire is on my list too. I've never seen the Wire. I mean, I've never seen the Sopranos. I've never seen the Sopranos. I, you know, Game after the first the first season, uh, I I came and went, but once I got into the second, like halfway through the second season, I've been hooked. So, yeah, yeah, it's a good show. Okay, but yeah, so um, basically, these minerals that run on, like they come through and over the course of you know hundreds thousands of years uh they create this amazing art on the on the cliff face yeah and you take the boat out there and see it and it's really is it's really cool okay um and then there's like some cool rock formations too that um you know that happen. i've got some pictures we can throw up all right so we did that. Uh, the, I think like the highlight was because um, on the big thing with going, we went up to Munising, and in Munising they uh, fundraise for their for the whole year just for the fireworks. Like Fourth uh, of July is their day of the year. That it's like, America's Day, Rob. I know, but they you know, <laughs> you know how some places they do Christmas and and uh, like they go all out. That's like, Jesus's day, Christmas. Yep, yeah, well, the birth Jesus, of Christ. Maybe he should show up and and help us celebrate it he's already, properly. He's already done that a long time ago, I guess. Except for he showed up in January or February, and uh, let's not get into that. But, um, <laughs> anyways. I'm just saying, I, I, uh, d- 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 December uh, 25th. Jesus! Yeah, December 25th might be more of a political date than actual birthday of Jesus. My uh, favorite far- part about things is when you say, like, we're not going to talk about it. And then you- <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry. Okay. Um, but uh, it, it's, I don't know. Maybe that's. Joseph and Mary were no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let me get my pocket Bible out. Uh, but yeah, so. Um, on the fourth, they you know they start the day off with a uh, with a parade, and it's a long parade. It's it's uh, it's long. I mean, this is a town that is much smaller than the town that we're from, 
Um, and the parade is three times, four times longer. The fireworks are five, six times longer than our fireworks. Um, Sweet. So anyway, you, it's, you, know, you start off, you do a, there's a parade. They throw tons of candy and all that. It's great for the kids. But then the crazy thing is after the parade, you know, at around 2 in the afternoon, it gets so hot that they do this thing called a fireman fight where um, everybody in the town goes to the center of town and the firemen... Um, are you hearing something on the mic? No. Okay. And the firemen, they break up into two groups and then they hook their hoses up to yeah. the fire hydrants and they, and yeah, and they, and they, and they, they fight each other with water and then they spray water at everybody in the town center. Like, uh, they try and get the people that are trying to stay away from the water. They like shoot it way up in the air and good thing you're not in Flint. Yeah. Yeah. And you don't have your mouth open. That wouldn't be ideal. Yeah. Right. They can't do it in Flint. But, Sorry uh, for our friends in Flint. Yeah. Um, go to Munising. Uh, but yeah, so uh, the, I mean, I got to, I haven't, I haven't actually gone and participated in that for a long time, but because Bethany was there and, and stuff, I got, to, I, I had a lot of fun with that. Good. Um, but uh, yeah, and then it was just hanging out at the camp. We went to some, uh, we went and I jumped off a bridge a couple times into some water. That was fun. Um, he just, yeah, yeah. He just <laughs> crosses the bridge. Fuck it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jump over. It's hot out. It's hot out. I'm going in. <laughs> Nice. I uh, got really sunburned. Yeah. Um, it's peeling still, but uh, whatever. It is yeah, what it is. that'll happen. Yeah, it was great. I had a lot of fun. Um, I Good. would recommend anybody go up to Munising area and, and experience it. Uh, the, the, we, we stayed in a cabin that was way out of town and in the woods. It was good. Nice. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Yeah, spent time with the family and, yeah. and uh, had some s'mores. Oh, yeah. Got drunk the first night. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was good. good I stuff. also got drunk last week. Yeah? We went, me and uh, uh, a very nice lady, we went to Three Sheeps Brewing in, uh, in, uh, in, in Sheboygan. We took the tour, and on the tour, they gave us a sweet pine class that we could keep. Yeah. And... um. They really did. I, oh, they did. I stole another one. Oh, um, I, well, well, I thought I was going to say it, but I was. Well, I'll get to that. Um, I, I think you become a klepto when you're drunk. Of glasses at Brewfest, you took a bunch of beers. You know, they and- said I could have it. <laughs> <laughs> I asked them, and they said I could have it. Um, they uh, so we we took the the tour or whatever. We had we had a beer beforehand. Go take the tour. They gave us four tastes. Of one, and they gave us one straight out of the barrel. Um, the veneration it was really, it was good. It was really is it cool. better straight from the. Uh... Yeah, it's like uh, I learned something, Rob. That beer is supposed to be drank at around thirty-eight degrees. So when you have like a real ice cold beer, that's not the way you're supposed to taste it. Proper so, beer. so so Coors when they say cold as the Rockies. Yeah, you're just drinking. You're, you're, you're not getting messing the full. It, yeah, you're messing it up. Yeah, yeah. I mean, cold as the Rockies. You, you don't drink Coors Light for the taste. I guess you drink it for the the Effect. the environment. Oh yeah, you know what I mean. Like you're in, you're in it to get fucked up. Yeah yeah okay yeah. And uh, um, yeah so 38 degrees. Fun fact. Uh, but yeah it was it was pretty cool. And uh, the dude was really cool. I talked to him a little bit. Uh, he's interested in doing a, a podcast with us, and he's into paranormal stuff. Nice. So. I got a sweet, uh, just... We got to do a strange brew episode. It's been uh, a long yeah, time. Yeah, so. we, I was just thinking that, but... It's uh, coming. I, I got a pretty sweet uh, Bigfoot Believe uh, oh, bumper sticker. Oh, I love Bigfoot. For you. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, thanks, man. Uh, because there is a shop up there that uh, that has Bigfoot everything. I didn't know oh, Bigfoot really? was big in that area. But he's big wherever he goes, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyways, we went to... We're at the brewery or whatever, enjoying ourselves. Um, a guy, there was a, a, a singer guy there, like a <clears throat> performer. Yep. Um, I talked to him. He was really cool. He had a really good voice. Um, I, got, I got pretty drunk. I drank a lot. Um, whatever, whatever Carissa didn't drink, I drank. Nice. Because I paid for hey, it. Yeah, that's the same arrangement we have. Yeah, <laughs> right. right. Um, and um, she, drove, she drove home. Always nice. Just very nice of her. And, and you know, and she wasn't, she wasn't, uh, no bitterness uh, about it. No, no, no. She wasn't, uh, mad about it. She was totally cool. She's like, yeah, I'll drive. Cause I was feeling it. It's feeling good. I had a good time with her. It was really fun. And at the end 
I accidentally grabbed the glass that I was drinking my final beer out of. So I had I had two glasses in my hand, thinking I only had one. I've you know I I uh, one time I stole a pair of so I'm bowling sorry. shoes. Uh, <laughs> bowling shoes. Bowling shoes. Oh, oh yeah. I mean, I was dude. I was drunk, man. I took my shoes as well. Yeah. I just wa- I didn't want to put them on, so I walked out with the bowling shoes and my <laughs> shoes in my hand. I don't know how I didn't realize that I was stealing bowling shoes at that time. But, yeah. Well, I spent happens. enough money at Three Sheeps. I think they owed me another pint glass. Yeah, I think we've uh, done some advertising for them as well. There, this is a really cool spot. It was a lot of fun, and it was uh, it was nice to be in the company of someone who um, appreciates my company. Yeah, definitely. The owner of Three Sheeps, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, so and and she um, is a big fan of the podcast. She lists, she's been listening to it. Awesome. She likes it. She laughs. I remember there was a the last episode. I think when I was talking about making a baby or whatever, and and I said the words like I said something along the lines of she'll probably laugh when she at this. She I feel like she would laugh at it. She did. Nice. So I was right. Good to know. Look at that. And she's probably going to hear this part at one point. See, when I said Angie will probably She's just going to want to make out yeah. hard with me. When, when I said Angie will probably never talk to me Slip again, me if, the if she hears what I say, uh, blah, 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 that, blah. that happened as well. So, Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so that's, uh, you know, that's pretty cool. It's interesting to be in a, a, new, a new relationship here, and, uh, but I thoroughly enjoy it, and um, yeah, it's awesome. Should be. It's, it's, re- it's really good. Yeah, that's good. I... Yeah. When do I get to, to meet her? And, and I pull her aside and say, if you hurt my friend, <laughs> I swear. I'll say this. I'll say this. I'm, I'll say saying this. It to, I'm saying it to you right now. This is just for you. Uh, I always forget if there's no one. Carissa, <laughs> edit that first part out and make it sound like I actually, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, oh, you said it right, Carissa. Yeah, Carissa, but uh, yeah. yeah, this is for you, Carissa. You better not hurt my friend. I'm coming for you. Okay. You know, if something bad happens, they could use that as evidence. Uh, yeah, that's true. I really do normally try not to say that kind of stuff because I watch too many documentaries where it's like you got in an argument and then they disappeared and then you go to jail for life. Um, so yeah, that's very exciting. Uh, would you mind sharing the story that you, you told me prior to this, to recording, about the pool? Oh, not at all. I, yeah, I'll, all right. Uh, so we were talking about ladies a little bit and you, you had a pool story. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, I went, so, um, coming off of the vacation, I was, uh, you know, going back to, I was at my place and I was like, um, this part I didn't get into with, with Drew, but this is why I went to the pool really is, uh, it was really hot that day, but I was getting kind of depressed, uh, throughout the beginning of this week. Cause I was like falling back. What am I going to record? Well, that was part of it always. Uh, but I was like, uh, falling back into my routine and I was like, do I want to fall back into my routine? Yeah. You know, uh, when you get on, you know, you go on a vacation, everything changes and you're happy. And, uh, and I was like, you know, I don't have to fall back in my routine. I'm going to, I'm going to go swimming. I got a pool. That's good for you. I'm yeah. proud of you for doing that. Yeah. So I, I decided to go down. I took a, I took a book down to the pool and what book, uh, it's called you are the world. It's uh, it's like a philo- Eastern philosophy huh. book. Sounds complicated. Uh, there, there, I had to reread some of it. Not going to lie. Yeah. A few times. Um, but, uh, so I, I was, you know, basically I was just, I was jumping in and doing some laps and then getting out reading until I dried off and cause I have sunburn too. So like, yeah, uh, it's supposed to wear sunscreen. I, it's, yeah, it's still, I, as soon as I started to feel that, that sunburn burning a little bit, I was like, okay, time as to jump back. As soon as you felt the, the blisters pulsating. Yeah. As soon as it started to pus, I was like, I got to get in that pool. <laughs> Glory. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but, uh, yeah. So when I first went down there, there was a guy and his kids were down there and they were down in the shallow end and that was it. And then, uh, this, this lady comes to the pool, she jumps in and then those people leave. So it was just me and this lady at the pool. And, uh, in my head, good good looking lady. I didn't look, uh, I think she was fairly attractive. Okay. Um, but like, uh, this is where in my head I get messed up because like, I was like, don't, don't, don't look at her because she'll, she'll see you looking and then she'll be like, look at this perv at the, at the pool. Just a casual glance. I I think that happens (laughs) with everybody. (laughs) I know it should, but I get so into my head where I'm like, I don't want this person to think it's like somehow I need, uh, I, I need women to like 
wear a billboard on their hat that says, I'm into these things. So I can walk up and go, hey, I'm into those <laughs> things too. I'm not just coming to talk to you because of how you look. Because that doesn't matter that much. Isn't that like the, at, at, its, at its simplest form though, like the primal instinct is, that's what, usually that's initially what, you, what you're drawn to some, by it, it has to be. Because like that's it, all you have to go on at right. first, right? I mean, of course, once you get to know the person, don't stay with a psychopath because they look good. Right. Obviously. Right. But, you want to uh, be with someone who makes you feel good and yeah, the yeah. person you f- look forward to seeing in the future and stuff like that. But initially, there's got to be that. There's yeah. got to be that attraction. And, 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 uh, but that's uh, like, uh, that's just, for, that's just it, this human is, beings. This is animal. This animal is the thing though, like the, my girlfriend that I had for like four years, uh, Lydia, like she, you didn't only say her name. It doesn't matter. Whatever. Well. <laughs> uh, there's no, there's so many Lydia's out there. Anyway, like when well, I, we're first, just talking about one. Yeah. When, when one I, one in particular, and if yep, you're listening, she, she knows it's who you. She is. It's you. Uh, and I, and, uh, but when I first started hanging out with her, I, she, I wasn't like physically attracted to her, but as I got to know her, I, I, bec- you know, like she got more attractive to me. Right. Um, and I think that that's not, that's normal too. Like that's not a bad thing. But either way, so like I have a hard time meeting new people. I'm sitting at the pool. There's a lady at the pool. And in my head, I literally was like, this is, a, this is a situation. It's served up to you, man, on a silver platter. This is a, there's no one else here. Uh, you know, she's, yeah. you know you, all you got to do is say, hey, what's up? How you doing? How's it going? Come here often? Hot day. Yeah, whatever. Uh, she clearly lives in the same area because it's the pool for the people that live there. Uh, what building do you live in? Yeah, right. I want to no, look in your windows. <laughs> what's your address? <laughs> do you keep your blinds open? Uh, uh, yeah, but, uh, I couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. Couldn't do it, huh? Yeah. I, 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 I so Rob, what I want to do here, I want to do an exercise, right? I am the lady at the pool. Okay. You are you. So I'm reading my book. And then you're reading your book. And in this situation, you approach me, you, you approach the lady. What, what do you say? Um, did you know that uh, society's <laughs> society's idea of order is in all in in actuality disorder and disarray, and we have to do something to change that right here in our minds. That's your that's your opening line. <laughs> Normally, oh wow. <laughs> No, I don't know, man. Uh, that's what I was reading about. Uh, is is uh, but uh, at the time. Um, that's where I get hung up. I mean, if I knew what to say, I would have said it. A, a, a hot day? Man, this pool is nice. Not too cold, not too hot. What do you think of my shorts? <laughs> you could have just said, uh, hey, how's it going? Yep. Yeah. But that's okay. Now, when I, say, when I say to you, hey, how's it going? I use that voice. Yeah. When I go to say that to somebody I don't know, male, female, whatever, I go, hey, how's it going? <laughs> <laughs> have you ever noticed that? Do you do that? Like when you say hey to somebody, like I, I, don't, I, might, think, the, I the, don't know. The tone of my voice changes when I say hey to somebody as I walk past. Really? Them. Yeah. I don't think I don't think my tone does change. And I really try not to be somebody that cares about what people think of me or whatever. Right. But subconsciously in that like moment of like going, hey, what's up? Hey. Hey. Uh, I, Hi. I, I, I just, yeah, seriously. My tone goes all different. And My name's Rob. <laughs> Um, well, you know, I, I get what you mean by being intimidated by, by approaching ladies. So I'm going to tell a story. Um, my friend's wife at one point fairly kind of recently, um, wanted me to, to meet somebody. And I don't know if I, um, I don't know if I talked about this, but she wanted me to meet somebody. We go there, we go to a place where she's working. She's a bartender. And they're, uh, and she's working and I'm just like, what do I, what do I do here? We got seated at a table instead of at the bar. Great. So we, oh, yeah, a good start. Right. Right. And I was just like, I don't, I don't, I don't know what to do. Order food, whatever we eat. And then me and my friend, we go to the bar and, and then I have very, very small talk. And I was just like, I, this feels weird to me. It, those are all, it's always it feels so a, yeah. weird to me. Yeah. And, um, you know, I was just like, Hey, can I shoot you a message one time or whatever? And, and then nothing happened. Cause I was just like, this is weird. I don't, 
I'm not in. You know, I just, I just don't know. It, was, it felt like it felt like Tinder to me in real life. I just I've got a story about this too when um, you're done. If when you're done with yeah. this, yeah. Like, uh, but then, whatever. So that happened. And I was just like, you know, whatever. Moving on. Yep. yep. And uh, it was at episode 100. Um, and I had been. I had kind of had. Is is Chris say, this girl? No, Chris is not this girl. Okay. Um, and uh, and then I had been thinking about like. So something was drawing me to Carissa at one point in time, you know, and I was just like kind of just thinking about it. I didn't really know what to do at the time. I was like, when should I, when can I approach somebody? When can I not? And then I decided like, why the fuck does it matter? Like, just do it. Do what feels right to you, Drew. Yep. Um, you know, you're, if you're ready to do this, you're ready to do this. And I was. So then uh, episode 100, we drank some extra beers. I was feeling loose. I was feeling good. And I shot Carissa a message on Facebook at midnight because yep. that doesn't say Desperate. De- <laughs> it doesn't say that. And, That's uh, not why the word came to my mind because of what it doesn't. <laughs> so I go, I said something along the lines of, hey, you, uh, you've you always been really nice and, and really positive. Uh, would you be interested in, in uh, hanging out sometime, maybe go out to dinner? Some, something oh, like that. Oh, that's a hell of a message, man. Thanks. Um, I mean, that's yeah. I'm going to take uh, take a like uh, that. That really actually made me made me think of uh there been a, there's somebody that I was thinking about messaging and and yeah. uh, and like uh, maybe I have to think of some some reasons why she's on my mind to message right and uh, and tell her that way and that's um, a good idea. So then it came along the lines of like I don't know what time it was, maybe nine two fifteen a.m. No, no, <laughs> it, was, it was like nine in the morning the next day, and I don't think she responded, and I was just like shit, like I I shouldn't have done that, I shouldn't have done that, I panicked. Always, because I was like, because I think she had like posted something on Facebook. Oh yeah, so it was like, yep, yep. Like like twenty minutes before, I looked and I'm just like, she didn't look at it. Oh man, fuck! Like I, so I just deleted the message. I was like, I, I can't. I, I, you know, it doesn't delete on. on. I I know, but okay. for just like for me, for me. <laughs> so you didn't have to see it every time. Right, you, right, right. I got you. And uh, and then at one point in time, she she said, sure, that would be fun. Yeah. And then, um, and then I was like, sweet, like kind of threw out some dates and she's like, well, this, this time period would work and it worked or whatever. And, uh, carved in stone. It's now a history. And then, uh, well then I was just like, cause I think the, the date was originally like this last, last week, Friday it was supposed to be our first date. Um, oh yeah. Yeah. Three sheeps. And I was just like, that's two weeks away. What do I do now? And, yeah. then, and then eventually I just, uh, I used Snapchat, which I barely ever used. And I started snapping her. Like sounds better than, well, it sounds my, worse than it probably is, but like, yeah, like not, you know, I, I took like, yeah, yeah. Snapchat. Yeah. That's what you, they call it. Right. That's what they say. I snap you. I'll snap you. Right. Right. Shoot you a snap. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, you want to snap later? Then I, <laughs> and then I got her phone number and I started texting her. Yeah. That's, uh, and, and then that the week before we went to the zoo. Yeah. I remember. Well, I like okay. So, fun. so I had a, a, a similar situation where um, a buddy of mine wanted me to meet this person. It's fucking hot in here. You really think it's? I, I'm very Sw- comfortable. I'm sweaty. Do you want to step in? No. To the we're, we're going. We're in it. All right. Well, I, I I'm fine. I'm fine. I think it's beautiful out here. Thanks. So, well, uh, well, we just run different temperatures. It happens. It's because I'm fatter than you. Bullshit. It's I, genetic. Okay. You are uh, you are stockier than me. Yes, is that a worse word? Just I'm fatter than you. Okay. You don't need a fucking pussy foot around it. You don't need beer on the bush. It is what it is. It is a fact. Yes, you have more. You you shut up. Okay, I'm fatter than you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but uh, yeah. So at one time I had uh, this uh, similar thing happen. A friend wanted me to meet somebody. He was with somebody. Yeah. Uh, we met at, uh, so I went over to his and his girlfriend at the time's place and I show up and there are three other girls there. Wow. So she, it was like. For a gr- the choosing? No. I'm just kidding. But uh, now this, the turn, the story takes a turn here because, so me and my buddy Andy uh, started playing some music and, the, you know, like we're. Because obviously, like, there's four women in the other room, and they're talking about what they talk about. 
Uh, so I wasn't going to like jump into that. Neither was he. So we, we played it. We, I, you know, we jammed normally or we did back then. And then, uh, like, all of a sudden, like, we, you know, we played a few songs and we're like, we went in the other room and they're all crying. Oh, yeah? Yeah. So, like, something bad happened in this girl's life or in, in somebody close to her's life. Something that had to do with a child or something like that. I don't remember. It's a while ago. Okay. So, anyway, uh, me and uh, I go outside with Andy so he can have a cigarette. I didn't smoke at this point. And, uh, the better he, days. The he, healthier days. He starts, uh, he starts calling me a, a pussy and a wuss. For not talking to this girl and asking her out, not asking her to Pause hang out. While she's crying, that's what I said. I said, "Dude, this is not the this is not the environment." Right. So as he's berating me about this, they come out. They're gonna leave. Yeah. And he's still like nudging me and nudging me and nudging me. And I was like, "Fine, whatever." And I go, "Hey," would you? <laughs> I asked her if she wanted to hang. <laughs> like, uh, and she was just like, "No." And I was like, "I don't blame you." <laughs> <laughs> like what it was like uh uh it was such a ridiculous situation and it was just like i like it was why why would i ask her now what do you what right what what, what do you think is happening in there it was like it would be like if when you got your leg broken when a kid threw his bike into your leg snapping your wrote sh- it he didn't throw it or he wrote it into your leg causing the bones to stick out the girl next to you goes you want to go on a date sometime <laughs> yeah right like <laughs> <laughs> and I knew it. I knew it was a bad, like it was not. And, but I was just so sick of him berating me that I was like, fine. You want to see what's going to happen? You're going you want to see? Don't give in to peer pressure like that, Rob. I guess not. But uh, but the, your situation with the pool was no one was around. No, it was really like. Uh, That's all right, man. It is what it you is. You shouldn't feel shamed. No, no. You, you, you are who you are. Yeah, the book was really good. I mean, I was really. So, no. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I mean, it is a good book, but I was also like. Um, uh, yeah, it, it was definitely something that I was like, I was like, you know, what? I don't even know what to, what to say. It, it made me look at myself and go, "You need to figure some shit out, Rob. You need to get it together." <clears throat> why? Why does? Why does? I mean, not every situation that a man and a woman are alone does it require. A yeah, but I should be able to say, "Hey, what's up?" Yeah, how's it going? You're just not good day for a swim. You just, you're just not, you know. Some people don't can aren't just don't approach it's not other a, people. Yeah, like but it's that. not it's not a bad thing to have a learning experience like that. Where I was like, I need to look at myself and, and figure out what what am I so like? I don't really have problems like if it's like if I'm just like casually or randomly talking to somebody, I don't have a problem going up to anybody and just talking to them. I can do it pretty easily. But if it's like somebody where like I know like oh we're supposed to meet, yeah, that is like, weird. That's, yeah. I don't like that. I don't like it at all. And I'm glad that nothing happened with that other person. I have I know nothing about her, so whatever. I'm sure she's great, but uh, I think I think my situation is greater. Yeah, good. I'm saying that strictly for the brownie points. I, I well, no, I'm just <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, like I said, when you called me the or when we talked on the phone the other day, you sounded like a different person. Because uh, that's the other thing that we haven't talked about. Yeah, I mean, this is this is a a major change in the saga of of the dynamic of your presence on the podcast is you can sleep at night now. Yeah. More than three hours a day. I, um, I've been going to bed around nine o'clock at night every night, Rob. I wake up at like five and I feel awesome. Yeah. It's that's, good. It's a, uh, yeah, it's a change of pace, man. I, you know, I get, better, get I, I get better sleep cause I don't have to worry about whether or not you're sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm it's just happy. a load off my my I'm, you know i'm happy it works out for both of us yeah i like uh i don't know man it's nice yeah that, uh, like, that was that was the thing like in in michigan everybody was like why like because i i'm not a party or whatever right. i don't stay up till three or four they all everybody stays up at by the fire till like four in the morning i was going to bed at 11 or whatever and they're like yeah. why you go why you know like normally they'll add like they're they'll make a big deal of it but they've learned that hey you know whatever. what does it matter when when rob wants to go to bed he's going to go to bed right and it was like but my uh, i was talking to my aunt and i was like you know it's a luxury for me to be able to go to sleep when the sun goes down right uh so that's part of my vacation yeah exactly and uh yeah it was, and then you get used to it and then you gotta go back to fucking work yeah but because i'm working the new job that yeah. i like that was kind of a nice transition too oh sure 
It's uh yeah, it's nice, man. I you know, it, it is nice. I enjoy it. And the new place I'm at now, I'm able to actually like be out there with uh, the employees and actually like do more work. Yeah. And kind yeah. of show them that I'm not just here to boss you around. I'm I'm here to like accomplish things with you. Yeah, but uh, you have to understand you have to let them know that they're not your equals either. Yeah, I mean, I don't. I don't. This seems like a good time to bring up the fact that they're they're all a different race than you. No, um, <laughs> I'm just that's a that's a bad joke. But uh, 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 no, like because you you are the supervisor still though. You don't want to be uh, you don't want to be like. I mean, I understand because I I've had supervisors that worked with me and stuff, um, and I get the whole idea of like there has to be a a thing and like a, a line in the sand where it's like. Hey, I'm not. We aren't equals in terms of the job. You know? uh, yeah, like, I mean, it's. I guess. I just don't. You do. You catch more flies with honey. Obviously, I yeah. do believe that too. But I just, you know, I, I'm under the. I go by kind of the. The road of, I'm here to get a, to make sure a job is done. You're here to make sure the job is done too. We got eight hours to do the job, and then we go home. Yeah, yeah. I like I, I kind of like that. And I, I where I, I worked at a place once where I was like I was good friends with my supervisor, but and he did he did work too, but he would get yelled at because like it was right. you know, the owner was under the understand like he was like you're a manager, so your hand, you shouldn't have to wash your hands at the end of the night. Yeah, I don't agree with that, but yeah, and, um, and neither do I. I, I. Like that doesn't really make sense to me. But uh, I just I would prefer to stay busy because if the day goes by faster. You learn more by, by getting more hands on. You get the process. You get the. Did we ever you know. talk about some of the issues with like I know we didn't really get into it, but um, you're you're it's it's easier, right? It's a new so far. Uh, in some regards, yeah. There, like there's less like uh, less uh, human resource. Uh, uh, no, I wouldn't say. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. No, that sucks. It, no, it, it's fine. I don't really want to talk much about well we're not getting into specifics here it's what supervisors have to deal with yeah it's fine i can see it on your face you're worried about what we're talking about no no it's not a big deal like uh you that's what you're there for man you gotta you gotta you gotta take care of this you gotta take care of this they've bugged the porch yeah hr hr found my house they're everywhere man they're all over the place um, they emailed me and they were like, so what do you, you know, <laughs> you're on a podcast with our new supervisor. What do you think of him? I um, I'm, will never mention it to anybody in that building. Ever. You should be more proud. I am very proud of it, but I need, there's, there's things I need to keep separate, Rob. And, I need, and this in my professional life is, is one of them. Okay. <laughs> I get worried. I know you do. And I just don't want to, you know, it's, I'm there. I'm, I'm Drew from, from Fond du Lac, supervisor. Here I'm world renowned podcaster <laughs> and uh, um, the number of, world's greatest dad. Yeah, yeah. World's greatest boyfriend. World's greatest lover. World's greatest friend. <laughs> world's greatest friend. Least favorite uncle, though. No, just, <laughs> <laughs> just a shit uncle. <laughs> just, just a horrible uncle. That's not true. Um, my nieces love me, I think. Actually, one of them tells me I'm, you know, she she gets mad at me. She tells me she's mad at me. Yeah. Because I put her in timeout sometimes. Her name's Grace. She's a little sass. Yeah, she'll, she'll learn that. But too. Avery loves me the most. Yeah. She's the baby, and she loves me. Yeah, Bethany said that I'm her favorite uncle and favorite aunt at one point. Oh, look at you! Yeah, so you got. I'm I'm transcending barriers. Like, look at I'm you, knocking man. them down walls. She probably sees you the most. Uh, that's not necessarily true. No, probably. I don't know. I don't know no. the situation. She's so. she's she's got aunts that are the same age as her, <laughs> which is really oh, crazy. Word. That's weird. Yeah, like because uh, huh. um, Kayla has a sister that's like five. And yeah, my, that, that was my friend. Uh, my friend had that. His brother. His brother had a kid, and then his mom had a kid after. So uh, technically, yeah. the niece is older, older than the aunt. Yep, it's crazy. 
Weird, huh? Like you're born an ant. Yeah. Or aunt, I think is aunt, what yeah. normal people say. I think people in say Wisconsin you're, say you're ant. Born, yeah. yeah. Ant is an insect. Get over it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like you. I don't like aunt. That just doesn't seem like a, a proper word. Yeah, we're not in France. Yeah. Fucking, this is the US of Go A. Go to Canada. Red, white, and blue. Right? You don't like it, you get out. Yeah. Um, right. We says what we want to speak. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But yeah, um, things have been going well. I'm in a, I'm in a a better state of mind. I think I'm a better, in a better state of sleep. And, uh, I'm in the best state in the country. Fucking Wisconsin. Yeah. You don't agree? I don't know. I have no way of saying that because I haven't been to all the states. You don't have to be. That's How many just, states pride themselves on their cheese and their beer? I know, but that's There's pride one. for pride's sake. Did I ever tell the story of Cheese Fest here on this podcast? I don't know. I don't think so. I have a hard time with I don't like cheese. I'm getting better with it now. I don't like cheese. I, uh, when I was younger, I went to this thing called Cheese Fest, which, uh, <sighs> you know, in Wisconsin, we have Cheese yeah, Fest. yeah. So why don't you like cheese? What's wrong with cheese? I'm, I'm about to tell you. Oh, okay. I went to Cheese Fest when I was younger. Yeah. And I'm going to tell you the whole story. I don't tell Great. everybody this whole story. But now you're telling everybody. Yeah. You're telling the world. And, and my family listens to this. Never. Jonathan and Finland, you're going to learn a lesson here, buddy. It's not a lesson. It's a more embarrassing you're fact. You're going to learn an embarrassing fact about cheese. I think I was... Do you uh, like cheese, Jonathan? I hope you do. I think I was in eighth or ninth grade. Must I'm going to say eighth just for my own sake because of what's coming in the story. I don't want to be in ninth grade and have what happened happen. Uh, I was, it was definitely eighth. Seventh or eighth grade because that's when I hung out with the guy. Sixth that, grade or you know, fifth. It wasn't sixth. First. It had to have been seventh, twelfth, seventh or eighth grade. Had to be. Um, we Third so grade. so I went to Cheese Fest with a buddy of mine from middle school. Where is Cheese Fest? Little Shoot. Okay. Little Shoot, Wisconsin. By Appleton. Uh, yep. So they put out you know like 40, 40 different types of cheeses. They got carnival rides and stuff like that. Which so hot day. Only forty types of cheeses. I, I, that's what for I a remember. cheese fest. That that seems pretty weak to me. That sounds like it's just a trip down the fucking dairy aisle. I don't know. I'm I'm I was I was in seventh or eighth grade. Or I, fifth I, grade, I, for, uh, <laughs> maybe freshman. <laughs> I was a kindergarten, uh, <laughs> but uh, it was last year. Um, <laughs> no, it was uh, forty. Sounded like a lot to me. It didn't matter. But it was like more. I was a kid, so it was more for the carnival stuff. So, but but essentially, you have a hot day with a bunch of cheese set out. You eat the cheese and then you go on carnival rides. It's yeah, bad. that's a, like uh, sounds good. No, that uh, well, maybe it sounds good, but in practice, you eat a bunch of warm cheese and then you spin around in circles. Uh, and I told uh, my buddy at uh, Tony, who was like, we were on the when everything bad started, it was on the tilt whirl, and I was like, dude, I'm gonna get sick. Don't spin it anymore. He thought I was joking, or he just wanted to make me get sick. It's on him. Why would you want to get sick with somebody in the state that you're sitting next to in a ride? I don't, I I don't mean, know, but he kept spinning it faster and faster. And uh, I, I didn't. I made it to the porta potty where I proceeded to vomit and piss myself. <laughs> and no, I've not told anybody about this pissing myself thing, but uh, it happened. It happened. And uh, and I just didn't tell anybody. Are you hearing these noises? So, uh, well, that was a car. Some of it's this couch. Okay. Um, but yeah, so, uh, I just didn't tell anybody and they might've smelt it, but nobody said anything to me. Uh, yeah, definitely. Did your pants show indicate that you pissed yourself? Well, from what I remember, no, I got away with it in the looks department. It was okay. Like, uh, huh. you know, I was able to dry it enough or whatever in the porta potty and do what I had to do. It was a hot day. So it evaporated. Um, Ew. But yeah, that, so that bad experience, uh, very bad, very embarrassing, very, uh, and luckily it was only embarrassing in my head uh, as far as nobody was like, oh, look at you, pissed your pants. Uh, no, they were more like, oh, weak stomach, huh? uh, weak bladder too. You don't even know. Um, but uh, they, uh, for years and years and years, cheese, I could not eat cheese. It was very bad. Yeah, yeah, through association, I get it. So it's not that I don't like cheese. It's because I like cheese on my pizza. Just triggers bad think, memories. Yeah, yeah. It just uh, triggers a very shameful moment in my life. 
I get it. Uh, where the tilt a whirl did some damage to me, but I, you know, and 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 I don't go on tilt a whirls either. So, all right. That's, Do you still pee yourself? Every once in a while. Yeah. Yeah. You ever you ever piss yourself as an adult? Like just wet the bed, had a dream you were peeing, and then woke up you're peeing. I didn't wake Not up like European, European, but <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, with a British accent. Um, <laughs> no, I, uh, um, I well, it's happened to me. It's definitely happened. I pooped a bed once <laughs> in my adult life. Uh, th- I think you've told the story. Yeah, uh, that was the craziest thing. Yeah, I just woke up and there was poop in my <laughs> in my underwear. Like I just, <laughs> I don't remember farting. I don't remember. I just woke up and I had pooped. Wasn't a lot of poop, so I. I you, you know, you know the. You don't really need that much. No, I, I mean one turd. That that one little tiny turd that qualifies as poop in the bed. You're right. Yeah, you're uh, right. But uh, yeah, it was. Uh, so I'm guessing if I did that, I've definitely done the other thing because that's more okay. common. <laughs> I don't. Uh, it's it is what it is. You know, we yeah. all have uh, bodily functions, and I guess sometimes they happen in bed. Maybe for sure. I don't know. I'll ask my therapist. On that note, <laughs> we drank uh, uh, Uper. Uper. Where's it from? Uh, from Upper Hand Brewery in Escanaba. In Escanaba, home of the th- the island resort and casino, where you can be eighteen to gamble. And I've yeah. been there twice when I was eighteen and nineteen. Good stuff. Are, are we, oh, oh, what was your fun fact about UP? Oh, yeah. They, I'm glad you reminded me. Uh, the UP. Uh, Mountain Dew recently made an ad and uh, mistaked uh, Wisconsin as being part of the UP. Really? Yeah. Fucking idiots, huh? Wow. How dare they? I'm yeah. never drinking a Mountain Dew again. That will be difficult for me. But to hell with you. I'll tell my... It's all about Mellow Yellow now, bitch. Yeah. Doesn't taste nearly as great. But, but for- at least it knows where our border is. Yeah. You assholes. That's all it was. Okay. Well, no, that's very interesting and ridiculous. Uh, that's almost as bad as saying that airports were around in 1776. Right. Or that one particular fry cook is the best in the country. Yeah. Fastest. <laughs> fastest. There has to be a fastest, and he's right here. Who knew? We're so lucky. Um, we drank we drank the, the Uper Pale Ale. Rob, um, if I'm going to be honest... I finished it. I did too, but it was it was a weak beer. Very weak. How uh, you know? If you don't like the taste of beer, drink this beer because it's pretty sure. much like water. Yeah, one hundred percent. I agree with you. I if I were like in like if we were doing like a beer Olympics or something where there's going to be a lot of beer drinking, I would drink this. Yeah, yeah. Other than that, if I, it's a hot day. I wouldn't you, be. You want to stay hydrated, but you want to get a little tipsy, right? I wouldn't. I wouldn't drink this otherwise. Yeah, we're just being honest. No, no, that's what we're here for. To yeah. tell people, I'm. I mean, I'm. Uh, uh, an upper hand has other beers. Maybe they have more alcohol. Maybe they have maybe more. Maybe this taste. one just has the lower hand. I mean, this the upper hand. Li- literally, yeah, right. <laughs> this one literally says on it, "Easy drinking pale ale." For sure, and that is exactly what it is. They didn't lie. No, they did not. And that's what it is. So uh, we'll. Can't believe we're going out on the last thing being. You know, well, I guess we did the the Wisconsin, uh, the, the 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 Mountain Dew thing. Yeah, we'll be fine. I didn't want my bed story to be the last thing. <laughs> um, we'll be we'll be hitting you up with a with a strange brew very soon. We've got some some interesting strange brew topics coming. Yeah, we that that execute. are amazing. Got to <laughs> execute. Uh, make sure you're following us on Twitter at Dudes on a Porch, on Instagram. I think it's Dudes with Brews Pod. Uh, you can email us Dudes on a Porch at Gmail dot com. You can like us on Facebook if you want. Facebook kind of blows. And Podcoin. Use Podcoin. Use Podcoin. We see if you use Podcoin. Sometimes. I'm always looking. I don't know. Yeah. No, I'm not. We're always watching. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Thanks. And um, good night, folks. Pew, pew. Audio. Goodbye, everyone.